Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Real quick, just want to give you all a quick update on the trailer build. So for those who are new here, this is a jet ski, a modified jet ski trailer that I purchased and basically turning it into a kayak trailer, making it functional so that I can launch this PA-14 whenever I need to and don't have to use a cart anymore. This thing, I have a lot of things that are on it. It's a little heavier for my bad back. I have a compressed lower back. So this was something that was necessary this year and a lot of things I've done to this so far has been functional for that. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on that. I'm gonna make it real short and sweet. And uh, yeah, a lot of tasteful things has been done. So let's jump right into it. Like I said, a lot of things have been done. So if you're new here, this is a swing tongue trailer. It was one of the key things I was looking for just because I do keep this in the garage. This kayak actually sits pretty far back. So I wanted to make sure I had a swing tongue so I can move this forward and have a space to walk in the front and of course in the back as well. As mentioned in my last video, you know, I needed to do a full makeover on this. One of the first things I did was redo all the wiring on this. So one thing that I did is actually add lights that are backup lights. Right here, that's actually your reverse light. So I had to change the entire wiring on this. But another cool thing that I did was actually add two rock lights. Just picked them up from Amazon. Nothing crazy, but they add a lot of lighting. A lot of places that we launch, you know, are super dark. They can be narrow. You know, a lot of them are not actual boat launches. They're just public areas that we can launch. So having all the extra lighting, just so I can know where I'm backing up into. And obviously there's other people that probably launch with me. So I want to make sure that I don't like back up to anybody's kayak or into people in general. So that's one reason why I added some extra lighting. This entire kit made it pretty easy it's a hopkins kit everything that i have on this trailer as well as the kayak build is linked in the description below so feel free to check it out but pretty much added all this wiring loom to protect it got everything just wired under most of it is in the existing channel going to the front but right here just because of the angle i kind of have it sticking out but it's totally good where it's at one of the things that wasn't on here was side marker lights so i had to drill new holes for that added side marker lights it's actually something that's required so i made sure i did that one of the biggest things with the old wiring is that this actually was not long enough it barely reached out to my chuck and if i made a really sharp turn yeah this thing wouldn't have held up but it is a five-way plug so i had to get an adapter for it to fit my jug this is a seven-way the five-way adapter one of the other things that i was able to get done was mounting these cargo buckles they're just one inch straps that go over the top they're your basic kind of ratchet strap style so i got these mounted to the frame they go over and straps down to a little eyelet right here. Got that mounted. It's a stainless steel eyelet, so you know it's not going anywhere. I wanted to keep it low profile just so that it doesn't get caught up on anything. And super easy to do right there. But yeah, I really wanted something super easy to do. Cam straps are awesome. I know it's one of the best ways, but I also wanted to be fast and efficient. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get off the water and you need to find service to go check in your, you know, your submission. So one of the things I want to do is have a quick way to do this. I mean, it's super simple, right? I'll lift it up. My way of doing it is I'm putting it over to the other side, of course, keeping it under the H rail. Then I walk over to this side, grab it, put it to that eyelet, and then just click it in. Super simple. Obviously, you don't want these too tight. You know, these kayaks do not go anywhere with just a little bit of pressure. And I mean, that is it. Simple as that, I got two of them front and back. I think one of the best things about this build is these bunks. So these are two inch EMT conduit. They're super strong. I got them bent actually at a muffler shop. So they're bent at a 15 degree angle. That's kind of just what I guesstimated. The reason why I did that is so that they kick out at an angle like this. So having a wider area in between can allow me to push the kayak off and pull it up this and not have a narrow area to really try to get that bow to slide on through. So that's the reason why I had them bent at this angle. Now, obviously with the piping, I needed a way to mount to it. And there's a gentleman out from Idaho. His name is Steve. He runs a company called Snake River Lockers. He actually fabricated these custom brackets for me. 
They're just bolts on and of course you have to weld it to the piping up top. But big shout out to Steve. He's a fellow kayak angler. He understands what we need for these trailers and he was able to fabricate these for me. The big thing about his company is that he builds these awesome lockers. I'll drop a picture here right now. Basically a rigid and secure way to store your rods or your gear out on the road. It's pretty awesome. The really cool thing about this is that he actually sent me the process of fabricating these brackets and uh, I'll show you guys that little video right now as well. I will also leave Snake River Lockers info at the top of the description. Feel free to hunt them up. If you're looking to build something like this and you need custom things fabricated, that's one of the hardest things. It's hard to find people to build these type of things that do not exactly have an idea of what you really need. So he understands what it's like to build trailers. He's building his actual own custom trailer right now. So give him a shout out if you need anything. He's actually planning on fabricating some of these brackets so that you can easily just purchase these and slap them on your trailer as well. So I think that's one of the neat things. All you gotta do is just take it to a welding shop and you're good to go. But as I said earlier, pretty much this kayak is like ready to go. Those bunks are super secure. I got them placed exactly where I wanted to be underneath. I mean, they exactly run the channel underneath the kayak. Eventually when it gets warmer, I will probably paint them black just to match with the whole trailer. I also thought about wrapping them in bunk carpet, but one of the things I don't want is too much friction underneath and I can't actually pull this kayak up onto it. So that part we will figure out later. If you watched my last video, this fender looked a lot different. It was bare metal, it had rust on it, sand the whole thing down, wet sanded it, primed it a few times, and also three coats of black paint, just went with matte black, just because I felt like it looked clean and I didn't want the whole trailer looking semi-gloss black. This trailer also came with a post here that was for the jet ski that was welded to it, so I had to cut that thing off, painted that as well, just so that it matched the rest of the trailer. Overall, this thing is looking pretty good, honestly. But yeah, that is the update on the trailer. I got a few things I still need to do, but like I said, it's pretty much ready to go. We're actually gonna get this thing out on the water finally. Still waiting on a few parts for the kayak, but I just can't wait. We're gonna go test out the trailer here shortly, probably this weekend or next weekend, and then make sure that everything works. One of the things that I do wanna do is add a bow post. So I will actually be working with Snake River Lockers on that to fabricate a custom bow post because I got a winch that I want to throw on it. Sometimes you deal with ramps that are shallow and you can't get the trailer all the way in without getting the truck in as well. So one of the things I want to do is add a winch to it, a bow post, and also a place just to secure the front. Just in case I have to hit the brakes really hard, you know, these straps do the job, but I don't want this kayak sliding back and forth. So adding a bow stop, having this on it again, so that I don't have to put pressure on my back. Uh, this is definitely one of the things that we want to do and I'll be working with Steve to custom fab one of those again check them out if you need anything done for your trailer but yeah that is the quick update on the trailer you know just want to give you guys a quick rundown of kind of what I did and the process behind it a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory I think the hardest part was just getting the wiring through everywhere and of course doing it right soldering all the connections heat shrink wrap protecting it with that wiring loom. Overall, it worked out and I'm happy with the way the trailer sits right now. Might throw some bigger tires on it later just for some of those longer 12 to 14 hour long drives. But as far as a couple hour commutes, I mean, she's pretty much good to go. Refilled up the grease on them. The hubs were replaced about a year and a half ago, something like that, so they're good to go. They have low miles on them. But yeah, in the next video, we're actually gonna be getting both the kayak and the trailer wet, ready for this maiden voyage. Gotta make sure everything, as far as the motor, grass, and everything's working correctly. I don't have my active target yet, but it is being shipped right now, so I'm super excited about that. Wanna make sure that everything runs properly. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you can keep up to date on the kayak build and trailer build. As always, I appreciate you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.